Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. In the last episode we infiltrated a... Well, I'm Rabbit Luigi for a start, but in the last episode um, we infiltrated a medical facility, found out that there's some bad guys trying to harvest little kids and use their brains in soldiers and they're basically really bad things. Lots of bad things. So what we're doing is we are driving to Denver to trash them, pretty much. Um, pretty much, that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, this is kind of where the game gets a little bit more um, serious, I guess, because at the moment it's pretty, pretty much, I have a sword, let me kill you. It gets a bit more emotional, a little bit more sort of intricate than that. So, you know, we, we saw a little bit of that with What's-A-Face, um, Mistral, Mistral, yeah. Um, <laughs> I love this, I love this guy. Um, with Mistral, this whole idea of what are you fighting for. Um, the, ho the whole game is pretty much... Um, are you fighting for yourself or are you fighting for a company uh, or an orga organization or something bigger than you so it's interesting and if you sort of weigh them up in your head you know it makes a bit of sense so yeah talking to George he's a funny guy he's a bit injured I, I don't, we didn't really see what happened off the you know during the cutscene but he didn't die he didn't get shot uh, I don't know if we saved both people well, uh, as in all the little kids. Have a little flashback here. You shouldn't think about this stuff when driving. Left hand drive. That's that's not how you drive a car. That's not how you drive a car. Oh. Are the police this bad in Denver? I don't think the police are that bad in America in Denver. I thought they at least sort of like put or put the lights on or something. That's, that's a bit harsh, that. I wonder if the police are cyborgs. Hell yeah. yeah. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a and Ryan's resigned, I think. Ow. You could at least come talk to me. No. How about no? It's time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, Ryden. Yeah, I think the whole thing was that uh, the team Ryden's in pretty much said, don't go to Denver, don't go s basically straight into the heart of their business, because, you know, they're not going to be very happy with you. That You might meet some resistance, as my controller vibrating furiously. Um, and, I love this. Fuck you, asshole. All the drivers in America like that. Awesome. Um, yeah, basically, Ryan's team said, "Don't go to Denver. There's going to be a lot, lot of people there trying to kill you," which is what this is right now. Um, <laughs> I love Wolf there, just sort of shake, shaking your head, thinking, "Oh, fuck. son of a crazy man, very crazy man, flying car, etc." So Ryan resigned, said, "Fuck you, I'm doing it anyway." Uh, and this is what this is. Rather action-packed entrance into. Into Denver. It's a good welcoming. Welcome committee. He's got guns though, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Boom. I'm coming to get you. I will patrol ahead. And the wolf is away. Just like that. We're not licensed to operate in this area. Why didn't you just say so? You could have said that about shooting me, you know. Guess you'd better arrest me then. Eighteen three one oh four point seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. I wouldn't really say we threatened a peace officer. Technically, he just said, you better arrest me. So, there wasn't much threat in there. It was more like a, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm okay. I, I, I think I'm okay with you arresting me. Now, I, I know that one of these guys does have a left hand. There we go. So, how do I do this? I need to... Did that do it? I might have done it. I don't know. Did I trash for hand? I did trash for hand. Okay, fine. I don't really care. I'll do it later. I'll do it some other time. I don't really care. Maybe if I like sort of spend enough time on this game, I'll actually 
do like hidden content and unlock all the weapons and stuff. Maybe, maybe sometime in the future when I have more time, whenever that is. I never have more time. I wish I had more time. And I could do more stuff. Give me some of that. Oh yeah, 130%. We are pretty, pretty well set for the rest of the game. I, I, I do know where one of the um, uh, endurance upgrades are in this level, somewhere near the end. Um, I, I will be getting that. I will be showing it to you. I'm not showing you everyone because I don't actually know where everyone is. Uh, but oh well, we don't. We, we don't really need them. It's, it, it's easy difficulty for for a reason. I'm not trying to have a hard time playing this. I'm just trying to get through it. Have some fun. Have a bit of fun. Not very serious. This isn't a very serious game. So d despite all the um, you know political intrigue or oh, political stuff, you know all this about chopping up kids. That's kind of serious. But just look at the combat. The combat's probably the biggest sign that this is a Japanese game. <laughs> that probably sums that one up. I can, can I trash their cars? I can trash their cars. Oh my god. If they were like British uh, police, it'd be like Astras, and I could chop some Astras up. Some voxels. Yeah. Oh well, we don't, we don't really bother. We'll fight you with as well. Cyborg police officers. Everyone's a cyborg. My god. What is this? What world have I stumbled upon? You're trying to stab me when I'm actually still in my freaking cutscene. Get out of here. It's going to take your health. That's my health now. Can I just say, Mariachi uniform, it makes me a better player at this game. It just does. I'm, I'm so much better now. I feel more in control of my actions. I feel at one with my sword because I'm wearing a Mariachi uniform. It's, it's, it's nice, actually. Of all the upgrades you could get, this isn't a bad one. It's the opposite of a bad one. It's a pretty good one. I think you actually get um, a sort of ranking and achievement at the end of the game if you manage to kill your enemies in such a way, if you manage to kill a lot of enemies in such a way, that um, you sort of sever, you you cleanly sever their limbs rather than just slicing them up into like many pieces. You get, um, yeah, you get, you get like a certain achievement for that, which ain't bad, that's pretty good. Oh, why is there, oh, it's this guy. This, this is like a, um, a slightly weaker version of the boss we fought in the last area. This is a grad, but not quite the same grad we fought in the last area. We've immediately got one of these, so we can sh get rid of his shields, those spiky shields of death and destruction. No more. There are actually two of them, I just realised. I don't like having two of them. That means there's twice as many people to take out. We're going to take you out. We're going to get rid of your shields. We're going to get rid of those shields. Why have you got shields? Why are they spiky? Well, I should know why they're spiky, but it's just cheating, man. Can't do that. I'm not going to have you. I'm not going to have you doing that. I'm gonna hang on. There's so many. I can't even see what I'm doing. Camera in this game is not good. If I'm gonna make one big uh, criticism of this game, the camera is probably the worst bit of this game overall. It's it's not good, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It could be better, but most of the time, cameras aren't the biggest issue in the game. You know, because you can have like the best game in the world. If it's got a bad camera, kind of who cares? It's still pretty good. I mean, this isn't the best frame in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't really care that the camera's bad. It's probably the game's biggest fault, um, but who cares, really? I mean, there are faults with this game, but who cares, really? It's just so much fun. I mean, if I was, if I was to rank this um, as a Metal Gear game within the franchise, I would probably put it behind MGS3 and MGS4, but slightly ahead of MGS1 and 2 because it's just way more fun. <laughs> uh, to be honest, the other two might be more emotional and more story driven, but this is just more fun. By a mile, I'm just gonna... Ba -da -ba -da! See you later, son. Get down. You just got ninja killed. And so are you. Nah. It does pay to be stealthy in this game. Because that's quite satisfying. Can I, can I even slice you up? No, I can't. I'm a bad person for trying, I'm, sh I'm sure. Makes me a bad person. Here we go. Press the big red button. Red bet. Does that attract people to where I was? I'm not sure that was such a good idea. You haven't got a, you haven't got a bit of your leg left, mate. You should probably just give in. There we go. Get my Zanzatsu. I got I, I severed his left arm, so that's that's a bonus. 
Is he still alive? Okay, I, I think you get more bonuses. Oh, I don't want to fight an option. I don't want to do an optional fight. I can't be bothered. I don't want to. I'm sorry. I'm going to go up the escalator. This is this is city living. Woo! Open the chest. Anything good? An RP grenade. What's an RP grenade? RP grenade? A red phosphorus. Oh, a red phosphorus. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, people keep calling me. They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. They trashed my car. It was a nice really car as well. Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? So I mentioned this in one of the previous episodes that, you know, Boris is a nice guy, but we kind of screw around with him. This, this is the screwing around with him. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. And you kind of feel with Ryden, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's just trying to make sure that people don't suffer the same fate he did. You saw what happened with George. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. Say so you succeed. Say so you get all the brains. Back. It's a long cutscene. It's a, it's a cool. So it's not cutscene, but whatever. Great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor. But he cannot. You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Let's face it, New Zealand is quite a far away place from uh, America. Pretty much everywhere you go in this game, New Zealand is basically as far away as it can be. New Zealand is like out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, God. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. Hey. Now, I knew Boris was a nice guy. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavarich. Spasiba. It's all this Russian. I can't speak Russian. I can't translate that. I'm sorry. Anybody can? Please tell me what they're saying. It'd be nice. I'm sure I can find something on the internet which is similar. But I, I want my, my audience to tell me. It's more personal that way. That, that glass took some while to break. There you go. Glass. Sliding through the glass. Trash some vending machines. Did we get anything good in the vending machines? Anything? Oh. Electrolyte pack. Awesome. Running around at the speed of sound. Ah, oh, so that that sort of call was a sort of great example of um, needs of the one v needs of the the, the many. The, the the beliefs of the company v the uh, against the beliefs of the individual, which is what this game's all about, pretty much. Um, it's like, do you fight for yourself or do you fight for the company? If you fight for the company, technically Raiden wouldn't be here. If he fights for himself, he ends up here. That's how it works. And it's this sort of motif which you see quite a lot, quite a lot, quite a lot during the game. And um, it's, it's it's kind of what the final boss is based on. It's kind of what the bad guys are going with as well. So it's it's mm, it's quite important. Um, it's it's in it's individuals v the company, pretty much. What's more important? Oh, so it's, there's, there's, there's a man in a box. I wasn't even trying to look for you. But you got sliced. There's two out of five. One of them I already knew. That one was completely accidental. Uh, if people see me. Oh, it's these guys. These, okay, hang on. Let, let me get rid of you guys, because I can't... Uh, I, I can get you immediately. That looked like it came out of his ass, so that's a little bit weird. I think that's like a worm. So... <laughs> dash nasty. Okay, that's his, that's rid of his, rid of his head. Get rid of you guys. I want to parry some of these shield guys because it just seems too much fun. One, two, the shield guys. When there shield guys here? I swear there were shield guides here. Shield guides. Shield guys were here somewhere. That's a, that's a right arm, isn't it? Left arm. By accident again. Keep finding these by accident. Maybe that's how you're supposed to find them. By accident. Weird. I don't know. I'm confused. Let's get in this elevator. Up on my elevator. What's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? 
Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flights? The golden age of unmanned flights. With helicopters that can shoot me down and I just like to go on their missiles, you know, run up, run up their missiles and trash them, you know, as you do. security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. No, they just quite didn't care. Sadly, I did nice not view, by the way. Welcome to America. 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 should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data. The research. Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. Okay, that's about all we have time for in this episode. This has been Rabbit Luigi, this has been Metal Gear Rising Revengers, and in the next episode we are going to be going through this place. We're going to be fighting, maybe fighting a boss, I don't know. Uh, and hopefully we should be able to get near the end of this area. I think one or two more episodes in this area. It's, a, it's quite a good area. It's all sort of tower blocks and it can easily fall off. I'm not going to fall off, but it, it, it's a possibility. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.